Welcome back. Second attempt is where it's at. Got to hit record. Didn't want to go. Just insisted a little bit. And then suddenly it was working just fine. Sometimes you got to be forceful, guys. You know, you got to not mean. But you got to let them know who's boss. And it's not the non-sentient, supposedly non-sentient computer program. It's me. I'm the boss. You know that old show? Who's the boss? It's me. It was always me. Even though that show far predates me. That's why the mystery was so great. Because the answer was me and I hadn't even been born yet. It's a very interesting place. It's like... it. This itself seems like a giant egg. So, does my dust progress... I think my dust progress maybe just fills up automatically? No, because I have 45 dust in my inventory right now. I really need to go figure out what we're doing with this dust, man. Before we go tackle another... You know, another suck and blow. We need to, uh, we need to figure out. You are just quite the interesting looking character. What's your deal? Spooked kid. Eek. Here's some creepy copying from this building with the green lights. I bet it's haunted. You go check it out, right? I totally will. That's where we'll go next. Thanks for the heads up, kid. I feel like there should be someone down in this area, you know? Like, this middle area doesn't seem to have anybody. Okay, so somewhere, some in this area in the middle, there's gotta be some way to interact with something. Game was successfully saved. Something that I'm not getting that I need to interact with. Like, some button I need to press. Some specific thing or nature that I just need to find. You clean the dust from someone, you can still shrink it in them again if you need more dust. Cool. It says that your, your suck and blow is never done. This is the elevator. Forbidden to step a foot inside the sanctuary of the sea note, but you'll be watching the whole way whether you're going in or out. I got no preference. I just love elevators. I mean, who doesn't just love elevators? Do I have to go down to the sea note and deposit it there? Because that doesn't really make any sense. These are like all my random settings. Return to entrance. Return to title screen. Hmm. These are the random little item and collectible things I have. Oh, I do have a map that has like an information thing on it. That's pretty neat. Is someone gonna go down? Lights up and where's next stop? Yeah, I guess go down and hope that things work out. Chat, this game's a little ambiguous. It did warn us right from the get-go that it would be a little lost, a little confusing, that that's just like part of the gameplay. And I'm fine with that. I just want to know what the hell to do, man. You should just search the city for people and cleaning dust and clean them inside. Then deposit those resources back in the center sanctuary. You're going to do an amazing job. How do I do the depositing part? I deposit it here. Greetings, Xano Cleaner. Welcome to the dust drop point. There we go. Let's deposit all those known to dust you have. That's what I've been looking for. That is what I've been having for. This should be near the thing, right? This would make far more sense to have this actually be near near the thing. Thank you for depositing dust. No, please return soon. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, well, more dust, more cards, more good stuff. That's what we need. Whoa. Not the direction to go. Alright. Let's go back up this elevator and make that elevator enthusiast day, dude. He's like, he's probably never seen the elevator operating this much. He's just been a passive elevator fan, ready to go. Like, he, he knew the potential here, and now we've ridden it three times in one day. His mind's blown. Also, we're basically, like, riding the elevator, the elevator, uh, the elevator to and from heaven. When you think about it, like, we are going down to the celestial center where all things are created. Basically, where God and his angels live. We're kind of like an angel ourselves, too. It'd be weird if there was an elevator to heaven. Or even a stairway to heaven. The stairway to heaven seems, um, not practical. And there would be a lot of stairs. Like, I, I just feel like it's not fair. If I gotta, like... I gotta ride, I gotta walk up 17,000 stairs to get to heaven. Like, my god, dude, my life is 17,000 stairs as is. Now you're gonna, on top of that, you're gonna throw this at me? That's not fair. Lump showed her softly beneath the stained and slimy bed dressing. Snowball would rather not disturb the occupant and slowly backs away. Oh, I would definitely like to disturb this person. How do I, I wanna, yeah, no, I wanna disturb this person for sure. I'm floating. I don't think I'm supposed to be floating. Uh, okay, broke the game. That's it, huh? As Nova begins to walk away, she is startled by a sudden gruff voice. So, <laughs> you're just gonna stomp through my bedroom with your muddy boots <laughs> and leave. 
Nova turns to see Mysterio Wazel's head rise from beneath the bed covers. A weary figure continues to expel harsh, wet coughs. Nova bows her head in shame and glances around frantically. It is difficult to say what mess she may have caused, so she begins to shuffle about, attempting to tidy the room generally. Stop touching my lampshade collection! Mysterio Wazel snaps. Come over here, I need to talk to you. You like lampshades? <laughs> Some of these lampshades are worth a lot of money, but who cares about money? It's all about the artistry. See that one? Don't touch it with your grubby little fingers. That was my grandmother's lampshade. See the exquisite lace patterning around the brim? It's good to meet a fellow lampshade buff. You do like lampshades, don't you? Thinking of taking one for yourself while I'm not looking, are you? Who would notice or care if you took advantage of a miserable, weak, old coot? That's what you're thinking, aren't you? <laughs> no. I mean, now that you put the idea into my head, but that's on you. I wasn't thinking about it prior to you saying that, so that's whose fault is it really? They don't make lampshades like these anymore. I just, could you just get to the thing? You wouldn't know you are young and strong and you think that you'll live forever. But eventually things fall apart and people leave you and they kick your shins on the way out. They steal your lampshades. I can't even remember anymore. All the lampshades that are gone. Out of sight and out of mind. It's an allegory for life. Not the lampshades. The lampshades are not metaphorical. That's a direct relation. Everybody knows because we can relate with our own lampshade collections. We get to the dusty part. Got a good feeling about you. I need you to do something for me. Please clean the dust from my lungs. What do you need a lampshade? or return something? You can have the retro frill model in mint green. I've already got one of those. Have you ever nano cleaned before? Don't make it worse. Oh, I've nano-cleaned before, baby. I'm a nano-cleaning expert. Here, stick with the presence of nano-dust. Nova, spark this being and forge a connection. Clean them and change their fate. Shrink forth, nano-cleaner! Pew pew pew, let's do it. Shout out with my pew pew pews. My pew pew you? Famous Smash player, pew pew you. <laughs> Interesting, like, series of seemingly random mini games to, like, unlock this stuff. Okay, I guess the best thing to do is just look at the ground because looking at the actual objects due to the way that some of them curb can be a little confusing, but if you look at the ground, it gives you a pretty straightforward input on what you need to do. I love how we do, like, the super anime girl pose where it's like. <sighs> And then like lots of spins and shrinking and sparkles. I wish I could super anime girl pose. I mean, who doesn't, dude? Strike a pose, do a lot of sparkles and spins, and then suddenly you're hot AF. I mean... Just, uh, don't pretend like you're not, you're not down for it, chat. I don't care who you are or what you're into. I think anybody, I don't think anybody would say no to magical sparkly girl powers. I love the aesthetics of this game, man. The 2D worlds especially look excellent. 3D worlds are, they do a really good job with the whole N64 style of graphics. Better than I thought they were going to do. But my god, dude, I'm just like so impressed with the uh, the 2D especially. It looks great, like this little mansion stuff. It reminds me of a mix of like Celeste Classic and regular Celeste almost. Hmm, like there's gotta be a way to take these guys on, right? this can you shoot this thing for me you're so nice bro get that dust though oh i can't get it it's up there dang dude what even is this bro i came here to suck up dust and kick ass and i'm all out of ass something like that what's that dick kick him i'm here to chew ass and kick bubble gum and i'm all out of ass dick kick him Dick Kickham's a great game chat. If you haven't played played it, I uh, I'd advise... Well, you'd have to make it first because it's not a real game, but make it, invent it, create it in its entirety, and then play it. I've already given it a rousing recommendation. Ow! Okay, apparently you can only suck one at a time, you know. That's a good lesson. Sometimes you gotta learn the limits of your sucking abilities, chat. You know, you you, uh, you want to suck with the best of them. You know, you really want to go out and suck with the stars, but uh, you gotta you gotta keep safe out there. You know, it's a hard suck life out there. Well, I hate to see anybody get hurt, chat, because they're over sucking. You know, 
They're sucking past their abilities. I totally, there is, okay, no, I can't go this way. Why can't I go this way? Where do I go then? Have we reached a puzzle that I don't instantly know the solution to? Oh, if I kill them. Oh. Weird. Okay. I like this. We're mixing up gameplay mechanics now. So, little baby slimes, you can't you can't do anything to. Even though they seem distinctly like they are evil and bad for you. But they're so adorable. I guess you just like... The regular slimes are adorable, but dear god, these cutesy slimes are just over the top. Chat, I don't know if you've seen it, but uh, if you don't follow Shen Comics on Twitter or Facebook or wherever social media, Tumblr, Instagram, he's probably on all those things. He's a comic artist. Shen Comics is probably my favorite comic artist online. If you don't follow Shen Comics, you are greatly missing out. He makes great comics. And I'm sure, even if you don't follow Shen Comics, I'm sure that you've seen Shen Comics. A lot of his comics have been memed up and down, like all the way to death. But I think you'd really, really enjoy it, chat. So follow Shen Comics if you don't. But he, so last year on Halloween, he did this thing where he made his profile increasingly more creepy for the 10 days leading up into Halloween. And it got disturbing, okay? It started with his normal, like, cartoon icon. And then slowly, step by step, day by day. And I'm not singing the intro to that. I can't even remember which one that is. Step by step. Day by day. That's some like 90s or early 2000s family based sitcom. Hmm. I wonder what you want from me on this one. Oh, I get it. Oh, I just need to go past all these guys. Even, even that one. Okay. This is an interesting, interesting mechanic. I like how all these worlds are like... They're proper puzzles, man. They're like building up different ideas, building upon them. They're quick and easy. It's a very out there game. Okay, but anyways, Shen Comics. So first year, got it slightly more disturbing every day to the point where it is like the absolutely most horrifying thing I've ever seen. You should seriously, seriously look it up and like make sure you start with the first picture and just follow along. Well, he did it again this year and it, the goal was to make it cuter and cuter every single day. And... um I don't even it got disturbing in a weird way in a whole different way, but he did get really really adorable So that's anyways. That's what reminded me with the slimes It was a full circle. It all comes back around chat You think I'm just rambling crazies and you're mostly right, but you're not totally right Yeah, cough cough dust you're a robot beep boop want to kill you You know, I've already got the speech from everybody else dude. We, we done heard it Ah oh, no, that's not. Ah, oh, that's not very speed run of me. Stop moving. You gotta be like one away, dude. Yeah, one away. Oh no, he wasn't one away. I was making false assumptions. Oh god, dang it! I'm gonna run out of. I'm gonna run out of things to hit you with, dude. Okay, I'm a scrub. I gotta wait for him to poop rocks. You have extra health, or am I just misremembering things? How many hits did it take to kill him the first time? There was a row of things along the side. It was like one square. It was probably like eight hits, seven hits, ten hits, something like that. Ten would be a nice even number. I don't want to say it was ten. Let me see. So it would be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want to say it was like seven. I'm like counting the tiles on the screen. Because I know how many like tiles it took to get to there. Suck it down. Suck it down, suck it down, suck it down. You don't know what it's like to have a life and then to see it crumble before your eyes. That's what the dust does. It grows and grows by eating up who you are meant to become. Nova, you've done a good thing here. My lungs are much better now. Maybe I'll be able to finish writing my lampshade book now. Did you ever clean up the dirt you tracked into my bedroom? You know, the center itself once sent me a special lampshade with unbelievable symmetry in recognition of my work cataloging and appreciating lampshades. You know, I, I want to laugh, but like if there was a lampshade collector community on YouTube, there probably would be and there probably is. And they probably have somebody who makes a living making videos, indoor articles or running a website about lampshade collecting. The internet is a magical place. Thank you, Nova. I really appreciate what you've done here. I mean it sincerely. 
You can have any lampshade you like. Well, as long as it's not the retrofill model in mint green. I've already got one of those, see? Thank you, Nova, goodbye. Or as long as it is, sorry, I didn't mean is not. You feel the glandelux seed pulsating inside of her. It channels the center's power, transforming the deadly dust crystal into a card. Well, Chad, that's a 15 minute mark. You know what that means? That's a full episode of a Let's Play. I'm not even leaving you on like a huge cliffhanger or anything this time. We're going back. Oh, I kind of am. Bet you want to know what the crazy angel god person says. Well, you have to tune in next time, chat. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, etc. Ring the bell. I love all your beautiful faces, and I hope you have a beautiful day because you deserve it. Catch you guys on the next video.